IDDI is a ruthless examination of a relationship, of love, of grief, of guilt, um, but most importantly of what it is to be human. Um, it's an exploration of the darker side of love. Sometimes I really don't know what you're thinking. Sometimes I don't know what you're thinking either. I like that. Open up that brain. Climb inside. Crack it like a nut. Crack it like a nut. Climb inside a soft gooey. My brain isn't gooey, it's rubbery. <laughs> Um, I play Marion and Marion is an intelligent, um, passionate, deep woman and it's lots of dark comedy and very cutting which is enjoyable to play. Was it biology? Well it may have been geography. Very interesting stones. <laughs> stones. I remember us looking at stones, I don't know. There wasn't even a gift shop, so we were all forced to spend our money in the service station. He kissed me beside the fizzy drinks fridge. Sounds romantic. Very romantic. I touched his hair and uh, and he put his tongue in my mouth. Thanks. I am playing David. Uh, David's a very hard-working um, salesman um, and he, he's very much in love with Marion and he's, he's a very honest and lovely character to play. Because it feels incorrect or because it makes me sound like a whore? <laughs> Suits you. Thank you. <laughs> this play is a really, really exciting opportunity for an audience. We get to see two people in a relationship in a bathroom. It's the most intimate and private of settings. I think at times the audience will feel like they shouldn't be there and they shouldn't be witnessing what they are seeing. Um, and I think at times they will want to reach forward and stop what is happening. Um, it's an experience that people will take something away from. Secondary school, he was called Peter. Peter, I hate him already. Because he was called Peter? Parents who name their kids Peter, it's generally, well maybe subconsciously, but it's generally after some Peter. I think it's arrogant. <laughs> Tell me more. He was in a band. Drummer. Drummer? Do I look like the sort of girl who would date a drummer? <laughs> he was a guitarist, bass guitarist. Sexy. Deadly sexy. Jack Thorne is one of the most prominent contemporary writers at the minute. Um, he is a BAFTA award winning writer uh, for his work on The Fades, on This Is England, and he's co writing the new um, Harry Potter stage play with J.K. Rowling. One of the things I love most about Jack Thorne's writing is how beautifully and realistically he writes um, about relationships. This play sees two ordinary people in an ordinary bathroom. He writes so the audiences can relate to his characters so they will be able to take something away from it. To the soft rubbery inside. And it smells of honey, my brain vaguely <laughs> smells of honey. To the soft rubbery honey smell inside, Spinny. No, you wouldn't.